got the grace Lines and every other things are falling into place Hello beautiful, welcome to another video. My name is Namalina and in today's video I am so excited to be talking about this local South African brand. Today we are going to be firstly unboxing my new bag from Gal X Boy. This is not sponsored, this is not PR. I spent my own money on this and I have got my package over here. And then secondly we will be comparing it to my Alma BB from Louis Vuitton, which you guys know mine is not from Louis Vuitton, darling. Mine is from The Plug. Bye bye stations, okay? And I've had this bag for over one year, so it would be really interesting to also see the wear and tear. And also just talk about Galax Boy, talk about the brand, their history, their story, and really just delve deep into this brand. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So today I'm literally filming this video on the day of the restock. Galax Boy, I hope I'm saying it correctly. I know it is girl x boy but i don't know how to say gal without sounding like those old people who are like well done my gal i don't want to sound like that but it is gal but you know it's like that um this bag is 1600 it is the embossed dome bag i am so excited it is essentially inspired by alma bb i am unboxing it with you guys I have not seen it and I actually you guys will not believe this this literally pushed me to film this video today and I had spoken to them a few times and they had indicated that there could be a restock I follow the owner on Instagram and I saw that he had a video of the FedEx truck coming in and boxes and I was like okay it's finally here because previously I'd called them and the guy I spoke to said their items were stuck at customs because these are not made in South Africa they're made in China I'm just going to say allegedly because from his story on the boxes it says made in China so I'm just going to say allegedly they're made in China, which for me is not a problem. This whole idea of South African brands immediately just being able to afford to manufacture their own stuff locally. It is such, it's a joke. Not even Mickey Mouse. All of a sudden, all this leather to make these bags. I mean, we have farming in South Africa, but I'm just saying. Okay. China has the manufacturing capacity, the skilled people, and just like there's just so much. I wish some of you guys could go to the factories in China. I've been there and the things I saw, I was like, okay, that's why you guys are at the top. Like I completely understand. Okay, so I placed my order. You guys will not believe this. 10, 11 a.m., right? Orders over a thousand rand are free. This item was 1,600 rand and this item was delivered at 3.22 p.m. It is currently quarter to 5 p.m. I'm going to edit and post this video today for you guys because I want you guys to go on their website and support them. Well, not support. Sino told us better. To purchase from them. Okay. So, you guys are seeing it with me. This is what it looks like. The box is a lovely textured solid box and it has gal x boy over there absolutely stunning this looks amazing in comparison with my fui vuitton it is a smaller box so you guys can really see the difference it is a smaller box the fui vuitton is a magnetic closure if you don't know why i'm saying fui vuitton then look for bye bye stations quickly before i unbox this it is month end. If you cannot afford to pay attention, I don't know what to tell you. Guys, I do warn you. These glasses are not fashion glasses. I know they're absolutely fabulous. They look beautiful on me. But I cannot see. And I'm not a tech-savvy person. I mean, I'm literally filming with my Xiaomi phone. Like, if these lights are distracting you, you have bigger problems than my eye disability. Like, you have bigger problems than that because it's month end and you still can't afford to pay attention. I don't know what to say. Those comments, I, I don't even want to lie, guys. Those comments really touch me because I'm very privileged to afford to see an ophthalmologist and an optometrist on a yearly basis and to afford glasses as well. Like... Eye comments are very sensitive to me, so please stop this thing of complaining about the glare. I'm trying my best. I film my videos myself. I edit them myself. But I'm trying my best. Please, guys, let's work together. Okay, so this is the box. Let's unbox it together. I'm literally opening it with you guys. So that's what it looks like inside. This is what it looks like, right? I believe this is the strap. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. And then inside, we've got our bag. Let's take this darling out. 
and this is what the dust bag looks like now this is a much better quality than what you get from louis vuitton this is a bag that you could actually like oh, south african brands well done this is a bag that you could actually use to go to the gym you could put your um, towel your sports bottle in here you could use this when you're going for a walk like it's a proper bag or one of these sports bag sports 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 bag okay and then it's just knotted over there okay i've got press on nails so if you see me struggling it's because i don't want them to pop off i just wanted to have nails for this video because unfortunately with youtube in south africa people are so petty that if you don't have like your nails done and your makeup and your hair perfect like yo guys some of you guys are so childish honestly and this is what the bag looks like okay it has feet i don't know why two of them are covered but two are not and they are covered by these silicone rubber stuff that's actually really nice that's actually really nice and this is what it looks like so i've got the handle over here this is a stainless steel scissor, so I need to be quite the careful hand here. Okay, there we go. A smooth handle, and this is what the side looks like. So let's take off the other side here. So this is what the bag looks like, okay? It doesn't necessarily have a smell. And I have never seen this bag in person. I've only seen pictures on Instagram. And I must say, I was thinking the embossed detail would be deeper. I don't know how to show it to you guys, but it's not as deep as I had initially thought it would be. Um, they do not have any detailing on the bag. And I think what we can do is compare it to my Alma BB from Bye Bye Stations. Bye Bye Stations sells high quality um, replicas. This is a really, really high quality replica. Um, the bag that I'm going to show you guys. I've had it for one year from Bye Bye Stations. So you guys will be able to see the wear and tear of it. I just want to take this strap out. Can I just pull it out? Because that would be nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you guys can see what the strap looks like. It has gold detail over here. That's what it looks like. It has gold detailing. And there we go. Okay, so let me put away, because we've seen the two boxes, right? So we don't need to compare those. The size of the box is not the same. On the website, I could not find the measurements for um the box and the bag okay so there we go and this is what that dust bag looks like this is a really really good quality um dust bag you can literally have this as your gym bag this is i really really love and appreciate this now for the bag i want to be very honest with you guys this is not the bag i actually wanted i wanted the tote bag but it's not back in stock so i decided let me start with this bag so that i can get a feel of their quality and a big shout out to them for arranging delivery for so many people for today i didn't ask for delivery today they literally just called me and said they can arrange delivery and i was like wow that would be fantastic on twitter i saw somebody else who also got delivery today so it seems like there are several people the guy who brought my item had other people's orders in his car as well so i know i'm not the only one and also as you guys know with small business friday i don't do it anymore but when i used to do it i purchased undercover i don't purchase as namulina um so i know this is not something they did especially for me so this is my alma baby from bye bye station for this part of the video, I want us to compare the two bags in case anybody's interested in getting the Alma BB and you're not sure if you want to get it from Louis Vuitton, which if you get it from Louis Vuitton, I am just looking at my notes over here. You guys know I like to be detailed with these videos. From Louis Vuitton, this Alma BB is around 27,000 Rand. From Gal X Boy, Gal X Boy, Gal X Boy, it is 1,600 Rand. And from Bye Bye Stations, um, the Alma BB is 3,500 Rand. So 27,000 Rand versus 1,600 Rand or 3,500 versus 1,600 Rand. Both of them are made of leather. So let's look at them together. I just want to move the zips to the same side. And then we'll also compare the straps and the interior as well for you guys. Okay. So first of all, 
Um, the Alma BB is definitely a bigger size, and this is the BB one. Um, Louis Vuitton does have the Alma bag available in different sizes. I have the BB. This is the Galax Boy bag. You guys can see the difference in the height. And then when we look at the base of the bag, both of them have four feet, just like that. The Louis Vuitton one does have their name engraved on all of the rivets. This one does not have their name engraved on the rivet. This has a smooth um, finish to the base of the bag. This one has more of a textured but smooth finish. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, on the side, Louis Vuitton does have their name written. They do not have their name written there. Sorry, let me turn it this way. They do not have their name written there. And then obviously the Louis Vuitton one does have this tag as well. This tag, if you purchase from Bye Bye Station, these days they allow you to customize it. So I could put in for Namolina here. Um, when I got mine, they didn't offer that option. Okay, so let's talk about the hardware. The Galaxy Boy website says that they use 8-bit embossed leather with gilded hardware and LV uses deep dyed textured cowhide hand stitch handles and epi grained cowhide leather with a microfiber lining okay so when we look at the hardware this is silver this is gold which is the reason why i was willing to get this bag as well and the zip here has lv on it the zip on this one just has leather tags over there that do not have any text any print or any labeling on them okay so let's look at the interior both of them allow you to hook them over here so with the armor bb you can hook it on this side and on this side um, or you can also hook it here but the what do you call this thing? Is it a hook? Like this silver part is not the same. It's circular, then square, and they did the same thing, but it's gold. So they have like a half moon and then square. I hope you guys can see that, okay? Can you guys see that square, then this, this one, right? Square, then this one, and then the same on this side, square, and this one. You guys can really get a look and feel of these bags. So this is like a much smaller um, version of the Armour BB. So let's look at the interior. So it comes stuffed. Let me take this out. Yep. Okay, this is really, really stuffed well. Ooh, okay, so it comes stuffed. Well, mine came stuffed. And it also has stuffing as well. Right, so the interior is not the same. This is more of a cotton interior. Um, you can also see, oh, this is not good. Um, this is really not good. Okay, so for the interior, they did not measure this properly um, because it should be flat. I don't know if you guys can, okay, maybe that's a better angle. I don't know if you guys can see that. You shouldn't have that excess fabric. That is just poor work. That is not a matter of the design or anything. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, and then it is just a fabric lining. It does have one pocket on this side. The pocket does not have any text. And on this side, it has a zip, zipped compartment. And it says, Gal X Boy. What does it say here? Oh my gosh, I'm wearing glasses and I still can't see. What does it say here? It says Galax Boy and something. I don't know what it says. Okay, so it has a zip compartment inside. And it does not have that microfiber lining. Where else with the Louis Vuitton? And mind you guys, this bag is over a year old. I've had this for quite some time. You guys can see what I mean by having a smooth base. You know, there's no lumps or bumps because they measured it perfectly. Okay, so this one only has a compartment in here that is not zipped. Maybe let me turn it this way. It has a compartment in here that is not zipped. And it also has the same type of tag that says Louis Vuitton made in France. Okay, so these are the two bags. Let's look at the straps quickly. So this is the hardware on the straps. 
This one has LV on it. This does not have LV on it, but they're very, very similar. You guys can see they have a dot and a dot over there. Just the entire design of it is very, very similar. Now, because this is a Fui Vuitton, it does not have that rivet. If you guys remember in my review, I mentioned that the difference with this bag and one that you actually get from Louis Vuitton is that the Louis Vuitton one has a rivet over here. Okay, so this is what the strap looks like. It's just a plain long strap. If you guys notice any differences that I might have ever missed with the bye bye station bag you're welcome to educate me okay so theirs is like this it's like an actual belt and you can adjust the length of it let's just see which one is longer okay so i think they're the same length because if i take this out i think it would be the exact same length in terms of the width of the belt the one, the one from, this is the one, the one from Galax Boy is slightly thicker, just at the slightest, slightest amount. Hope you guys can see that. The slightest, slightest amount thicker, like just literally that, you see the side, literally that small, small part, slightly thicker. So that is my order from Galax Boy, that's the Alma BB compared to um, the Galax Boy Dome bag. These two are very similar. This is a smaller version of the Arma BB. Now, I like this bag, but I'm not in love with it. I'm really waiting for that other bag. I'll leave a picture of it. And they're also going to be, they're considering launching this in different colors. I'll also leave a picture. Um, I think they posted a picture on Twitter. I'll see if I can download that and leave it for you guys. You guys can let me know which color you guys are interested in. But I really thought that it would be a little bit bigger because I could not find the measurements on um, YouTube. Okay, this leather is definitely tougher than this one, but it is real leather. And yeah, I'm really excited to see if I can get any use out of this bag. For me, when I first heard about this brand, it was from my older sister. She was like, there's this brand that you should review for Small Business Friday. It's called Galax Boy. And I'd never heard about it. Um, but I did my research and I just didn't like what they had at the time. It was this bag, but with that gray print on it, I just didn't like it. But also, I always felt like the dome bag from Galax Boy and then and then you know it's 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 like the same shape but not quite the same shape now i know there was a conversation on twitter about um galax boy and how they have nothing that's original which is very interesting to me because even with louis vuitton um, Balenciaga has the Ville bag or Vile bag, I don't know what it's called, but it's very, very, very similar to what Galax Boy has and what, um, what the Louis Vuitton Alma BB is. So there's really not much that is original. I just want to give you guys some history and information about Galax Boy. The owner of Galax Boy, his name is Tadiso Dube. So they started this when he was in high school. Um, and in 2012, it used to be called Cheese Boy, right? And in 2018, they used to call it Cheese slash Cheese Girl. Then in 2010, it turned into Cheese Girl X Boy, right? Then later on, it became Gal X Boy. So what they really want to do is become as big as Zara and as big as Louis Vuitton. They really want to be international. Tadiso Dube made his first million rand when he was 24 years old. He's actually from Pretoria, Gauteng in Mamelodi. And I do not want to give out all the information I got from him because he does seem like a very, very private person. All I'll say is he's a 90s baby. So he's very young and he's doing some amazing things. So you guys have seen Galax Born worn by celebrities such as Casper Nyovest, Dales, Quilly Chana, DJ Dimples, and his best friend, Anati. Unfortunately, as far as I know, Casper Nyovest no longer supports the brand um, because the owner of the brand said Casper Nyovest is whack allegedly okay so they're really focused on building the brand and not necessarily money if you watch his interviews that's really something that is constantly reiterated and galax boy means what boys do because of girls and what girls do because of boys so when i was doing my research on this brand initially when my sister had told me about it 
I just felt like the brand was very childish, like it did not speak to me. Kiyama yo yo, kiyama skr skr, kiya those kids, you know, my 2000, ba, wateka teka kuku, kuku wateka teka, those type of kids. And I just felt like I'm far too old for such. So I just felt, I just felt like it doesn't align with me. And I think that's something we need to talk about in terms of brands and businesses. Sometimes you like a product, but you don't like the founder. Like maybe you like hair dye from my company, but you don't like me. That's very possible. Um, and so with this brand as well, I was interested in the bag. I'm still interested in the big tote. And there's a shirt that I'm also interested in. But I felt like in a little childish, you know, my yo, yo, yo. And I was just like, I'm far too old for that. For those of you who don't understand, it's like somebody who can acknowledge that a crystal necklace is beautiful, but they don't necessarily believe in astrology and such things, you know? Um, so that's how I felt about this brand. Like, I actually really am interested in these bags. They're leather bags, and at such a great price when you compare them to these international brands, and it's a South African company. Really, really excited and exploring the brand, but I felt like I am not that target market okay so when they launched the embossed range that's when i really felt like i'm really interested in purchasing a few items from them in an interview that was posted to youtube in 2015 they did state that their audience is people who are streetwear conscious people who really enjoy trendy streetwear items confident females and i just felt like I'm not a trans person. I know what I like. I have created my own style and I stick to it. I literally don't care if you guys have your boobs out. I'm from Limpopo. I'm not selling oranges, okay? Like, I'm, I'm the type of person who has my own style and that is it, okay? So like I said, my items are delivered on the same day. This is not a special thing that I got. A lot of people have actually placed their orders today. Today was literally the restock date. I'm going to edit and post this today. And they got their orders today. So you get free delivery when you spend over a thousand rand, which most of their bags are over a thousand rand, if not all. I think that card holder is the only item that is not over a thousand rand. The bag that I have is 1,600 rand. From Bye Bye Stations, I got my Alma BB for 3,500 rand. And from Louis Vuitton, you can get the Alma BB in Epi Leather, which is the version that I have for 27,000 rand. So the Louis Vuitton Alma BB is bigger um, than this one okay so the wear and tear that's something I'm really interested in before purchasing the larger bag that I'm so 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 in love with on Twitter there's a tweet that I saw where somebody posted their tote bag and it seems like a few people are having issues with their tote bag so I'm really interested to see the wear and tear of this bag if you have this bag and you've had it for some time I would really appreciate getting feedback from you or if you have any item from this company I would love to hear what the wear and tear on their product is I'm expecting to have some issues with the inside of the bag especially that lining at the bottom um, yeah somebody used too much fabric Somebody went over budget with that. Um, yeah, but I'm really interested to see what the wear and tear on this item will be. So now when we talk about brands like this, there are so many international brands that already do this. So it's not just Louis Vuitton having the Alma BB and then Balenciaga having the Ville or Val bag, whatever it's called. It's not just that. It's companies like Teddy Blake that literally deliberately create dupes of these items but to bring it back home you guys have seen and i've spoken about this many times that companies like mr price and the fix constantly create dupes of items and you guys don't complain but all of a sudden when it's a black owned business a proudly south african business you guys have an issue with that so right now if you go to mr price they have the bottega i think they're called the resort slides they have dupes of those ones i believe they have the white the black the green and some other color it might be pink but more than that a really really good example of this whole dupe idea is the chloe boots they have the chloe boots in an olive green and i believe they also have a white and maybe a black i'll leave pictures on the screen for you guys and they have the chloe dupe nowhere on the mr price items do they say bottega or chloe and in the same way with galax boy there is no part of this bag 
where they say Alma Bibi or even Louis Vuitton. It is called um, the dome bag. The parts of it that you can clearly see are replications, how they have the band over there, the feet at the bottom, um, sh um, having the same hardware shape and everything. Um, but it definitely is a dupe. And this is really, really great for those of you who are interested in getting higher quality bags, like real leather bags and having that type of item in your wardrobe, but you cannot afford um, the 27,000 Rand. But I also think there's a community aspect to this where it's a lot of us who are all celebrating these black owned businesses. And there's a sense of community when you see somebody holding this type of bag, there's a sense of community to that. However, there are tweets with people complaining about the quality and quality does not always mean that an item has to be real leather. And I'll actually show you something from Mr. Price. I always have time to complain about Mr. Price. So today I'm going to make time deliberately to celebrate Mr. Price. This is my wallet from Mr. Price. This wallet might be three or four years old. I've had this for quite a long time. I've used it every single day since I've bought it. This wallet has never been empty since I have purchased it and I do not baby it. It is in brilliant condition and it is not real leather. So leather doesn't always mean that it is quality. Remember what I told you guys about clothing and fashion as a qualified fashion designer? Quality is a combination of various factors where you rate this item, compare it, and you say overall it is quality. So you can have the most expensive lace where it is 2,000 Rand a meter, but if you give it to a one-year-old to construct something, that's a low-quality garment. Same thing applies to your bags. You can have a high-quality material such as leather, but if it is poorly constructed and the design is poorly made, and in this case where the lining is just terrible, then you do have a low quality item because you rate it and you get an overall rating for the quality and you're able to say this compared to this, this is a higher quality, even though this is like 60 Rand and this is 1.6 this is a higher quality so i hope that makes sense for some of you guys who may be obsessed with getting leather items i saw even in the conversation on twitter there were people who were stating that they have items that are not leather that are still holding up bags they use on a daily basis because somebody had responded to this um, lady that yeah you're using the bag every day even a louis vuitton if you use it every day it was senera and somebody was saying well i don't have you know, an authentic leather bag. Mine is not authentic leather, but it's still holding up, you know? Um, and that is actually one of the reasons why I got this bag from Simbono. You guys can find the review on my channel. So this is my bag from Simbono. It is just absolutely amazing. The company is called Simbono. You can find the review on my channel and it is excellent quality. This is vegan and I believe they use banana peels to make this bag. It is just absolutely amazing. I know you guys have seen that that Fendi bag that has like Fendi underneath. This bag was launched before that one um, and that's what I mean like it, it, these nobody owns any design. But still talking about the ownership of designs, it's very interesting that on Twitter, once again, I found somebody who showed shades from Galax Boy and that Shein has replicas of those shades. And it's very interesting because Galax Boy does take or get heavily inspired by Louis Vuitton items. Even the bag that I want is heavily inspired by the Louis Vuitton bag. Um, and I can't wait for them to restock that bag because that's the one I really want. I might even sell this bag. Like I feel like like it's so small and already with my armor baby i feel like i have to be careful on what i carry i don't know about this bag i'm, I'm gonna think about it but she actually has replicas of these shades from galax boy so with galax boy they do have much more affordable items that are not in the four figure range so you can get some of their glasses i myself take my eye health very seriously so i have sunglasses coming in from a uh, eyewear brand like they specialize in eyewear and i want to wear like proper sunglasses i don't want to wear fashion sunglasses i want to wear proper proper sunglasses i'm not interested in the galax boy sunglasses they're not my style but also if i'm wearing sunglasses i'm really trying to take my eye health seriously especially somebody who comes from a family where we have historically had eye issues so in conclusion i really recommend this company if you guys are interested in, in purchasing a leather bag 
I think there's a lot of you guys who would appreciate and love this bag and they have some beautiful designs. I believe they also have those Gucci-esque type of sandals coming out just with their logo in the middle. So that would be quite interested. I'm really excited for the tote bag. I want to purchase that. And then also they have this top. It's a white shirt with the owner's dog um, as the graphic on it. I absolutely love that shirt. I think it looks beautiful and I'm looking forward to getting that. You guys know I talk a lot about animals and how much I love dogs and it's so important for us as black people to be quite visible in those circles. So to see a young black man who is passionate about dogs to the point of having his dog on a shirt I absolutely love that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Once again, I am trying my best with my glasses, guys. I am not blessed with great vision and I would appreciate it if you guys could just open up your wallet and try to pay attention. It really doesn't cost that much. I really try to make my videos as informative as possible. Um, literally right now, it is quarter past five. I'm going to edit this video and post it for you guys because I want you guys to go and check out their website. I think this is a brand that can really grow in South Africa. I do want to remind you guys that as we purchase from black owned businesses, there are so many benefits. And one of those is just having the younger generation see the possibilities for careers in South Africa. We have so many people who are now interested in shoe design, but also guys, as we have companies like Galax Boy coming into the scene, we are going to come to a point where somebody is going to notice all these different South African bag companies um, developing. We're going to have companies like Samoga in South Africa. So Samoga is an international company where they purchase all these different designer bags and they create organizers for those bags. That means we're creating jobs or creating career paths and we're creating companies simply by the existence of one company. So as Galax Boy grows, that means that we will have more companies growing simply because of their existence. When you look at companies like Batu and Drip, they have created so many jobs, inspired so many young children to chase their own dreams. It is crazy to me that the founder of Drip was inspired by Batu and now they are literally on the same level. It is mind blowing you know so to anyone who wants to start their own bag company definitely go ahead and get started this is not a new company guys um according to my notes they started in 2012 no 2008 this company is over 10 years old and they've really really been pushing they do have a new store in pretoria in routing so if you guys want to pick up on the website it does allow you to pick up or you can get delivery. I was one of the people who was very lucky to be offered um, same day delivery and they do not know that I'm Namolina or that I'm making this video. I'm just really impressed. Previously, when I first wanted to order from them, they had some issues. So number one, they don't respond to emails. So I'm not going to recommend that you guys respond uh, email them. They do not respond to phone calls. So there was a number that was out previously. Now they have a new number that they've published, but there was a number that was out that was like on their social medias and everything. They do not answer that number. I've SMS them. They do not answer it. I've DM them under my account as Namulina, not even just as anyone, but as a content creator, they did not respond. And also the comments on their social media, they do not respond. It is terrible it is really terrible the only thing i've seen is now that they have a new number now they respond to phone calls so i'm going to leave the number in the description box to you for you guys that's the number i used to inquire about items i really had an inkling that they would be restocking because i follow the owner on instagram and i'm able to see like little updates about his business it's very very interesting but also when I called, there was a young man that I spoke to and he told me that they restock at 9 a.m. And he told me I can wait about two weeks. So right now, the date of post of edit of making this video, 8 April, he told me that in within two to three weeks, um, they should be having the other bags back in stock. So if you guys go onto their website and you see something that you like, uh, make sure you put away that money because within two or three weeks, they should have the other bags. That's if customs doesn't affect them. So I can definitely see that they're putting in the effort. They're trying. Um, but I do think basic things like responding to comments on your Instagram should be done. Responding to emails should be done. You guys put out that email address 
Why are you not responding to it? But this new phone number that they put out, they definitely do respond to it. And they do have a store where you can walk in um, in Pretoria. So I'm excited. I think for my next bag, I'm going to purchase it in person. I'm going to think about this bag. Maybe I'll sell it. I'm going to think about it because I actually wanted the other Alma BB. It's like a crocodile skin, but I need to talk to Joanna from Bye Bye Stations and find out if they use an actual crocodile because I'm not sure about that, hey? Like, I haven't concluded on my ethics in terms of these animal type of stuff. Like, I'll kill a chicken. Like, I literally ate chicken again today. today. Get a finger looking good. That's not a problem. I've killed chicken myself. Chop off the head, the body runs around, you fetch it, put it in boiling hot water, you pluck it, you cook it. But crocodiles, the videos I've watched, I don't, I, I have not concluded on my ethics. So there's like a croc one. Um, and I, I, I don't know. So I want to talk to Joanna from Bye Bye Stations and find out. Just a quick update about this bag from Bye Bye Stations. This is my Armour BB from Bye Bye Stations. It does have the strap, as I've shown you guys. It's in excellent condition. So you guys can check the review on my TikTok. But it is over one year old. I don't baby it. It's never been back into its dust bag since I got it. And it is in fantastic condition. So those of you guys who cannot afford the authentic one, you can either purchase from Galax Boy or you can purchase these high quality replicas if you are interested in that. If that's something you want to do, I'm very, very happy with all of my items um, from Bye Bye Stations. This is literally a year old. I do not baby it. And look at that. Like literally. I get chocolate I get chocolate and it literally looks this good. That's what I meant when I said if Louis Vuitton uses leather, they also use leather. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this review was helpful. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.